Good evening and welcome. I'm going to show you guys today how you can get your magnetic strip lashes to actually stay on. Um, funny story, I actually did a video, the last video I did, I was testing them out and they would not stay on. They kept trying to pop off. So of course it was my first go around. I was testing them out, but I was surprised that only after wearing them for about two hours, they were already trying to come off. So I wasn't expecting that to happen in the middle of another video completely unrelated to makeup um, or lashes, but uh, it was actually about a wig. So, ah, it was so frustrating. Um, but I did know that I had a couple of things I was gonna try before I called it quits. Um, and my background is I, for a very long time, for a solid year, if not a few years, religiously did glue on lashes daily. Um, I got so good at it and I would just use Duo. I also would use some of the um, wig glues. I got so good at it uh, just in terms of the maintenance and um, the application because, you know, you do anything daily and you, you get to you get to be really good at it where you can just kind of pop them on and you're golden, right? Uh, I could get mine to last three to five days easily just because my application was so clean um, and I just knew how to take care of them to keep the glue on and I slept in them. So coming from that background, you know, I, I can understand how a lot of people struggle and I understand how attractive it can be to see that, oh wow, I already use liquid liner. If I just use this other liner, I could just pop on a lash and I'm done, right? So it's very attractive, I totally get that. Uh, so today I'm going to help you and, um, and show you a little trick on how you can get them to actually last. Now, if I look a little shiny, um, I wanted to do this video at the end of the day because what I'm gonna show you is 10 hours later and regretfully, <laughs> I'm gonna zoom into my face so you can see it. So uh, I didn't even touch up my lipstick. So I wanted to prove to you and show you this is all day wear without touching up anything. So I'm a little melted, you know, I've been a working girl today. So um, I'm looking like I could, I could have used some touching up throughout the day, but I didn't touch my face. I didn't do anything because I really wanted to know if this was going to work because personally, I had tried everything else and this was my last trick up my sleeve. And I told myself this morning out loud, if this doesn't work, I am throwing these away. <laughs> They're just not worth it, especially when glue works perfectly fine, uh, at least for me. Um, and I also will do an individual lash on occasion. I switch because it all depends on how much extra time I have and how lazy or productive I feel like being. So let's zoom in first and take a look at what we have. Okay, so blinking, you can see they are on. Yeah, they're still on. Definitely on. And Fozzie's barking at someone on the street, but... Um, can see they're on no lifting anywhere confirmed yeah so um yeah you know I've got I've got a little smudgy whatever um I'm a little shiny I'm pretty shiny but um my lashes they're still going strong. So, very happy. Very, very happy, you can see. Lots of blinking, there is no lifting. Those corners are down. Okay, so how'd I do it? All right, I'm gonna tell you, um, I love a good brand, don't get me wrong. 
However, uh, I, I um, have a dual personality when it comes to shopping. One side of me is like, ooh, I love a great brand. Totally get that. The other side of me is I, I'm, I'm pretty frugal. I will not shell out for something if I really don't honestly feel it's worth it. So I'm not trying to knock any brands or make anyone feel buyer's remorse if they're not already feeling it. Not what I'm here for. Um, I am here, however, to show you how to get whatever brand you are using to work because I'm assuming if you're here, it ain't working for you. Okay. So uh, off the top, I choose brands that um, for me do not contain um, any, any animal products and are not tested on animals. So basically it's gonna be cruelty-free and um, vegan's ideal, but you're gonna do your thing. Um, however, I do find that my, my parameters of what I will allow myself to use are a lot easier today than they used to be a while ago because it used to be a real chore. Um, and actually in the very beginning, I, I was going all natural, no makeup because I had such a hard time finding anything cruelty free. Today, just about everything is. And I've noticed that all the big brands, if they're not already there, they're trying to get their production there. So pretty confident that you can at least find cruelty-free products that are really great and not like, you know, your DIY homemade stuff because I've been there. You don't have to do that anymore, thankfully. Um, we can get professional grade stuff um, without feeling uh, feeling really, really crummy about, uh, about a little bit of vanity, feeling good about yourself, right? So um, if you can see, and you probably can't, I will read it to you. But this is the Kiss Magnetic. And online people were saying it had beeswax, which I was like, oh man, like I don't want that. But then I bought it and I looked at the ingredients and I couldn't find it anywhere. So um, I don't know what's going on with that, but I went I went and I looked and I was like, mm, okay, well, I mean, it looks, looks fine to me. So I have the Kiss Magnetic brand. You can go to Walgreens, CVS, anywhere and just pick that up, which is great. And it's a great price. And then I also have the Eyelure. Oh, this lighting is not great for metallics. Okay, both of these have metallic lettering. It's Eyelure, so E-Y-L-U-R-E. Eyelure, -E, London, Pro Magnetic Lash. So this was uh, yet another one. Check the ingredients, didn't see anything. Um, that I would snub a nose at. So again, um, you guys do not have to spend a ton of money on a quality product. These are what I would consider really excellent price, totally available locally. So I really don't have a reason to spend $60 on, on something else that does the same thing my personal opinion. So between the two of them, I thought at first I tried the Eyelore and it was failing. And I thought, you know, maybe it's just this brand. And because people online were saying they like this one better than this one. So I was like, okay, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe there's some merit to that. Um, and I will note that the formulas are different. This one's way thicker. Uh, now you saw on my liner, I don't do wing liners. I mean, I do a wing with my shadow. Uh, but I don't do it, you know, like sharp precision. So I totally get why some people were knocking a star or two on this one because it is thicker. For me, it doesn't matter because I I go on pretty thick and I brush over with um, my powder. So doesn't matter to me. That's really the only difference I saw between these two is this one is a much more liquid formula so you can get those really sharp lines, really crisp, tiny points. And this one is a bit thicker, not quite as thick as painting with mascara, but you get the idea. It's up there. Both perform the same. The reason they were lifting was really the canvas. So I don't know about you guys, but I have pretty oily lids consistently. I mean, they always are. So I powder my lids. And I think the problem was that the product, both of them were having a really hard time 
once the oil production started, um, keeping a firm grasp on the inner corner, it just kept coming up, which to be fair, you can have the same problem with glue. So what I did was I used Wet n Wild Eye Primer. And if I can, oh, can you focus? All right, so anyway, it's the Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer by Wet n Wild. So you wanna talk about affordable, uh, cruelty-free brands, I mean, there you go. <laughs> this is probably the cheapest brand and and um, and it is cruelty free. So win-win, right? Great. So all you're gonna do, if you've never used an eye primer before, this one is tinted. I've seen some that are not not tinted, but it doesn't even matter because it's, it's kind of a vanishing. Um, vanishing cream of sorts. My camera doesn't wanna focus. But anyway, you see that amount right there. That's about how much you're gonna put on each lid because we're not trying to achieve an eye look with this. You just want enough to put it on the bottom. And I applied mine with my finger. You could use a brush. Um, just be careful with the sponges. They tend to, to soak up product back in it and you, you need this for it to adhere. So when you're putting on your makeup, you know, you can go ahead with your foundation if you don't do your lids, you know, leave your lids naked. So, you know, do everything else, leave the, the lid naked, then do this, pat it dry, let it completely dry, and then you go in with either of these two, okay? So these are directly touching this, and this is directly touching your skin, okay? So this is, this is the adhesion your skin to this, which wants to stick to your skin, and this to this as the first layer. Now you can do your eye look if you're gonna do one. So after you've put this on, go ahead and do your eye look. Now, if you go a little bit over the black, I'll say this is really slippery once it dries. So I didn't find that my powders wanted to stick to it anyway, but even if they do, or you're very particular about you know, how precise your lines are, then just after you've done your two coats, do your powder or your cream foundation. Try to avoid the line, but hey, if you go a little over, that's fine. Uh, most should come off and then you can do a third coat just as a means of crisping up the line and then apply your lashes. And like I said, I went from two to three hours of wear before they started popping off to 10 hours and they're showing no sign of letting go. So uh, I've still got a few hours left in the day before I decide to take a shower and take all of this off. So I can't imagine that this wouldn't continue to be a winner. So I will link everything down below. So if you don't already have a primer, um, you should be able to at least see the brand and pick it up online. If you don't see it locally, I would imagine you can find it locally. But either way, I'll have everything you need down below so that you can go out and purchase it. And I really hope that this helped because honestly, I think it's a great product and it's a really, you know, it's a really good time saver, especially if you don't have um, the skill of gluing. So anyway, um, glad, glad to help. Please try it out. I'm sure you'll have success with it. Bye. Enjoy the rest of your day.